Words have power. They paint pictures, evoke emotions, and spark revolutions. Words connect us across cultures and time. Think about it. A single sentence can make you laugh, cry, or question everything you know. But what makes some writing truly captivating? Why do some essays keep you glued to the page while others feel like a chore to read? The answer often lies in the details. Have you ever noticed how a well-placed sentence can make all the difference? Let's explore the art of crafting compelling section introductions that will keep your readers engaged from beginning to end. Imagine reading an essay that jumps from one topic to the next without any clear transitions. Confusing, right? That's where section introductions come in. Section introductions act like road signs guiding your reader through your thoughts. They provide context, create anticipation, and ensure a smooth flow of ideas. Think of it this way. Each section intro is a mini introduction for that particular part of your essay. How can you make these mini introductions just as captivating as your main introduction? The key to a great section intro is to pique your reader's curiosity. This is the moment where you capture their attention and set the stage for what's to come. Think of it as the hook that reels them in, making them eager to know more. You want them to be eager to dive into the next part of your essay. This eagerness is what keeps them turning the pages or scrolling down the screen, hungry for more information and insights. Here are a few techniques to achieve this. These methods are tried and tested, and they can transform a mundane introduction into something truly captivating. Ask a thought-provoking question. Start your section by posing a question that directly relates to the upcoming content. This question should be designed to make your reader pause and think. It should be relevant and intriguing, sparking their curiosity, and making them want to read on to find the answer. This immediately engages your reader and encourages them to think critically about the topic. It sets the tone for a deeper exploration of the subject matter, inviting them to join you on a journey of discovery. Offer a surprising statistic or fact. Grab your reader's attention with a powerful statistic or an intriguing fact that highlights the importance of the section's theme. This can be something shocking, unexpected, or simply fascinating, something that makes them sit up and take notice. Use a relevant anecdote or example. A brief story or example can make your writing more relatable and memorable. People love stories, and a well-chosen anecdote can illustrate your point in a way that is both engaging and easy to understand. Choose one that connects to the section's focus and draws your reader in. The anecdote should be relevant and should serve to highlight the key points of your section, making them more vivid and memorable. By incorporating these techniques, you can transform your section introductions from simple transitions into captivating hooks that keep your audience engaged. These hooks are what make your writing stand out, making it more compelling and enjoyable to read. But what about common mistakes to avoid? Even the best techniques can fall flat if not executed properly. One common mistake is being too vague or generic. Your introduction should be specific and tailored to the content of your section. Avoid cliches and overused phrases that can make your writing feel stale and uninspired. Another mistake is overwhelming your reader with too much information right at the start. Your introduction should be a teaser, not a summary. Give them just enough to pique their interest, but leave them wanting more. This will encourage them to keep reading to find out the rest. It's also important to maintain a consistent tone and style throughout your introduction. If your writing is formal, keep your introduction formal. If it's conversational, keep it conversational. This consistency helps to create a smooth and enjoyable reading experience. Finally, always remember to revise and refine your introductions. First drafts are rarely perfect, and taking the time to polish your writing can make a big difference. Read your introduction out loud to see how it flows, and don't be afraid to make changes if something doesn't feel right. Crafting intriguing intros is an art, but with practice and attention to detail, you can master it. By using these techniques and avoiding common mistakes, you can create introductions that not only capture your reader's attention, but also set the stage for a compelling and engaging essay. So next time you sit down to write, take a moment to think about your introduction. How can you make it more engaging? How can you draw your reader in and make them eager to read on? With a little creativity and effort, you can craft intros that truly shine. Remember, the introduction is your first impression and you want it to be a good one. Make it count and your readers will thank you for it. Happy writing! Avoiding common pitfalls. Even with the best intentions, 
it's easy to fall into common traps when writing section introductions. These pitfalls can undermine the effectiveness of your writing and leave your readers disengaged. One mistake is making them too long or repetitive. When your introductions are overly lengthy, they can overwhelm the reader and obscure the main points you want to convey. Repetition can also make your writing feel redundant and tiresome. Remember, your section intro should be concise and directly relevant to the upcoming content. A well-crafted introduction sets the stage for what's to come without giving away too much or dragging on unnecessarily. Aim to capture the essence of the section in a few impactful sentences. Another pitfall is stating the obvious. When you tell your readers what they already know, you risk losing their interest. They might feel patronized or bored, which is the last thing you want. Avoid starting with phrases like, in this section, we will discuss. These phrases are not only redundant, but also fail to engage the reader. They can make your writing feel mechanical and uninspired. Or, now, let's move on to. Such transitions are clunky and detract from the flow of your writing. They can make your work feel disjointed and disrupt the reader's immersion. These are clunky and detract from the flow of your writing. Instead of using these tired phrases, think about how you can naturally lead your reader from one section to the next. Instead, focus on creating seamless transitions that feel natural and engaging. A smooth transition helps maintain the reader's interest and makes your writing feel more cohesive. Consider using a question, a surprising fact, or a brief anecdote to bridge sections. How can you ensure your section intros add to your essay rather than detract from it? Start by planning your transitions carefully. Think about the logical flow of your argument and how each section builds on the previous one. Use your introductions to highlight the significance of the upcoming content and to pique the reader's curiosity. Drafting an outline before you start writing can be incredibly helpful. It allows you to see the big picture and ensure that each section introduction serves a clear purpose. An outline can also help you avoid redundancy and keep your writing focused. Ultimately, the goal of your section introductions is to engage your reader and guide them through your essay. By avoiding common pitfalls and crafting thoughtful, concise, and relevant intros, you can enhance the overall impact of your writing. Remember, effective writing is about more than just avoiding mistakes. It's about connecting with your audience and making your message clear and compelling. So take the time to refine your section introductions and your readers will thank you for it. Bringing it all together. Mastering section introductions is crucial for creating an essay that captivates your reader from start to finish. By using thought-provoking questions, surprising statistics, and relevant anecdotes, you can draw your readers in from the very first sentence. These elements not only pique curiosity, but also set the stage for the arguments and ideas that will follow. You can transform your transitions into engaging hooks that keep your audience glued to the page. Imagine your reader eagerly turning each page, excited to see what comes next. This is the power of a well-crafted introduction and seamless transitions. They act as the glue that holds your essay together, making it a cohesive and compelling read. Remember to keep your section intros concise, avoid stating the obvious, and focus on creating a seamless flow of ideas. Conciseness ensures that your writing remains sharp and to the point, while avoiding the obvious keeps your reader engaged and interested. A seamless flow of ideas helps in maintaining the reader's interest and makes your essay more enjoyable to read. Think of your essay as a journey. Each section introduction is a signpost guiding your reader along the path of your argument. Smooth transitions are like well-paved roads that make the journey pleasant and easy to follow. Now it's your turn. Put these techniques into practice and watch your writing come alive. Experiment with different types of hooks and transitions to see what works best for your style and subject matter. The more you practice, the more natural it will become. We value your feedback. Please take a moment to share your thoughts on this essay by answering a quick question. Your feedback helps us improve and tailor our content to better meet your needs. What is your biggest takeaway from this essay? Reflect on what you've learned and how you can apply these techniques to your own writing. Your insights are invaluable to us and to your fellow writers. Thank you for being a part of this journey to 